What's up, you guys? Welcome back to J Ransom TV. And if you wonder why my new channel, well, this is my old channel. Uh, if you come from my newer channel, um, I got hit with a takedown notice for the Penguin episode three, so I got to strike on my channel. So I'm like, all right, I was being very uh loosey goosey with trimming down the video, so I said. As long as they're not saying out there, I'm going to just do the full thing. So now, some of the episodes will start getting cut in these reactions. Uh, and yeah, this is like a week after, almost a week after I came back from Comic-Con. I was about to record, woke up to a takedown notice and a strike. So I couldn't think of a name, so I was just sitting for a minute. And then I was like, wait, I have his old channel. Well, I'll just switch to here. So this channel been doing for nine years. But we back on it. We're doing pretty good on this channel. I appreciate y'all's support. Uh, hopefully we get the subscribers up back to where I'm at on my current channel. But anyway, uh, I think last episode, the author had talked talk with her friend and they hashed out their differences. What they don't like and like about each other. And her, uh, she uh, she helped her out to meet deadlines because she was, like, overworked and she dismissed any assistance because she was, like, super anal about the details. It's understandable, but also when you're taking on multiple projects, you overworking yourself, which I feel like a lot of Maga could do. Um, you end up in these situations. So, very good episode last episode. Like I said, I haven't watched since episode three of season two, so... Three weeks behind, so my memory a little fuzzy, but let's get into it. Let's just jump right in. Delicious. You're awfully good in the kitchen. Do you cook very often? Oh, uh, thank you. I, oh, I forgot you live with his mom. I was like, who is this? Don't let this girl get away. Being able to eat tasty meals is one of the joys of life. <laughs> You're not gonna eat? I don't have much of an appetite. Uh, here, open up. Don't treat me like a kid. <laughs> I'm going to be there for you. Just as you were there for me. I'll support you, Aqua. Wow! So he works as your apprentice, Mr. Taishi? Well, he's taken on a lot of acting jobs in the last few years. Maybe he should have just focused on that from the start. I want to see. Could you please show me something he's performed in? Well, I don't mind, but I don't really care. Oh, yay! Just don't watch it. Hold up, did I miss something? I'm like super confused. Because she said she'd take care of him. Did something happen at the end of... Hold on. Let me check my... Oh, channel. My bad, y'all. This is just... Threw me for a loop. Um... Because this is... I believe this is episode four. Yeah, this is... Okay. Yeah, episode 16, so... Yeah. Okay. I'm around. I just started here. I'm not ready to die. We need to get out of here together. So cute. That's from when he was in grade school. He usually doesn't like showing this stuff to anyone. Do you have any videos of Aqua acting? Well, I mean, I do, but don't show her. I wasn't thinking straight and would like to forget it. I was under the false impression I had talent and the films paid dearly for it. I wonder why he's had a change of heart. I get it. I understand why he feels that way. Explain it to me, then. Well, his acting here was prepared ahead of time. There's no emotion behind it, so his reactions are poor all around. He put together his whole performance in advance. Yep. Truth is, when we were filming this, he collapsed like he did today. It seems he's not too good at expressing his emotions. When he draws on past experiences, he sometimes gets like this. Mm. There you go again. 
You know, for someone who goes on and on about how important communication is, you sure do keep a lot of secrets. Isn't that the recurring issue with you? Well, in that case... Hmm? Suppose I told you my goal in this was to kill someone. What then? There's this person high up in the entertainment industry, and I want to rise to the top to do away with them. What would you do if I told you that? I would help you kill them. Acting? You shouldn't say that so casually. I mean, we're talking about someone you want to knock off, right? I'm sure you have a good reason to do something like that. It's not a matter of right or wrong. Even if you were horrible, I'd still feel the need to accept you. And I would be there for you no matter what may unfold. If you commit a crime, I'll carry that burden with you. I'm your girlfriend, so I'm prepared to do that. Even if this relationship is just a facade. You're out of your mind. You mean all this time you didn't think I was crazy? Anyway, D yeah, you definitely I crazy, but I, I mess with you. Boyfriend too. Duties. I want to outshine Kana, and he may call it too. I don't want to lose to those two, no matter what. <laughs> Look, that he may call our Kana duo is too strong. I don't stand a chance on my own. <laughs> That's how you see them. I might just die. Would you stand by and watch me die, even though you're my boyfriend? <sighs> I guess you're right. Not letting his girlfriend die is a boyfriend's duty. <laughs> oh, you're the guy from Sweet today. A rotten actor to the root. You know who I am, really? Of course, I'm Ruby Hoshino, and thanks for looking after my brother. Oh, so you're Aqua's sister or something? Yep, that's me. No, Sorry, no, not at all. Huh? Rehearsals are over for the day. I stayed behind to get a bit more practice in. Oh, I understand. My brother's been getting home around midnight, so I just figured that maybe he was rehearsing late. What's he doing out so late every night then? Hmm, come to think of it, recently he's been leaving with Akane. Hmm? Akane? I'm gonna call him and find out! Ruby! Show some tact. Just let him be. Hmm? Tact? What do you mean? He leaves with his pretty girlfriend and doesn't come home till late at night? Put it together, huh? I don't get it. What is my brother doing with her? Oh, uh, you are dead. Sexy stuff probably. Sexy stuff, ew! It can't be. So you can't be bothering him. <laughs> I wasn't going there. I was just like, they're spending time together. I guess he's more energetic down there than he appears to be. I mean, there's no stopping a high school boy's desire when he's got a hot girlfriend. Oh, you horny, horny. My brother wouldn't do that kind of thing. Hmm? Uh, he wouldn't be so reckless and do something that could get a high school girl pregnant. If he did, I'd despise him with all my heart. Ruby? It's all right. I have complete and utter trust in my brother. Besides, he's always been the secretive type. Sorry to ask, but do you think I could use the restroom real quick? Thinking yeah, about sure. your mother. I'll show you where it is. <gasps> well, that can't be an easy topic when it's your own brother. Waiting for someone to finish up? Huh? Like he using a voice okay. changer. Sakuya! Huh? Kendaichi's calling for you. Emergency meeting. Huh? Really? Kendaichi's scary when he's angry, so hurry! <clears throat> I'll catch you next time. <sighs> what the hell? There's nobody here. Well, I lied. Hmm? Listen, that was a friend of Aqua's sister. Making a play for her would be bad. Are you serious? That's why you got in my way? I am being serious. Look, you were trying to shoot your shot. I do it too, so I won't call you out for it. But it's no good to go for a girl who could cause issues at work. <laughs> You're overreacting. There won't be any trouble. You can't be too uh, sure. You don't that. know Aqua, man. We're professionals, technically. Professionals? The guy whose acting chops are trash is talking about being a pro? You're just a flashy model who does TV dramas on the side. And now you've got a theater gig thanks to your connections. Hey. Do you realize you're the worst actor here? 
Your acting is bringing down the play's quality. I may not be top in class, but I earn my way here. You? What do you have to offer? Nothing's lamer than a guy with zero skills getting cocky and lecturing you. Hey, nah, you I just, mean, you're just trying to help out. Mikawa, but who the hell are you to patronize me? Damn it. That girl had a huge rack, too. Screw this. You don't need to tell me. I get it. Ever since I met him, I've known. This guy said he's friends with Aqua, so we exchanged our information. He said we should grab dinner sometime. Uh, huh? Should I not have? There are plenty of performers with integrity who you can respect both as actors Ooh. and human beings. With that in mind, however, most of these 2.5D actors who have girls for their contact info are bad news! Huh? That guy most likely sleeps with anyone! What? Let me see your phone! I'm gonna block him! What? Hey, I'll let Aqua find out about that. Sure, thanks. What's with that glare? I'm not glaring, okay? Don't lie to me. You usually look like you're sleepy. Your eyes only get sharp like that when you're looking at me. That's not true. I'm like this with everybody. <laughs> you probably no. just feel that way because you think you're the center of the universe and everything and everyone revolves around you. Don't you know who I am? I'm Jean. Making it obvious, Akane. That the celebrated actress Akane Kurakawa credited a certain performer by spurring on her theatrical career. Give me that! Where do you have that? Uh, well, I was curious about who such an amazing actress like yourself would admire so much. I heard there was an interview that Akane gave for the first play she was a part of as a child. So I ordered the back issue of the magazine it was in. And... Uh, what's this? Oh, that's adorable. Goodness, if you love me so much, you should just say so. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I wouldn't be your friend if you were the last person on the planet. It looks like it's a one-sided adoration. You truly are merciless. Who was it? Who told her about it? Someone in Lola Lai? My bad. <laughs> no use squaring off with her. With your serious nature, you can't beat her in a taunting match. So, uh -huh. pepper exercise has been... <laughs> Oh, that actually did some damage. She got a bit carried away. Oh, yeah? And you're the girl who's only known for a reality dating show! Who thinks they're multi-talented now? That was a vicious counter. Kana is good in a war of Combo. Words. Sorry, guys. I guess I'll take this one over here. Okay, I guess I'll hold this one back. Damn it, she pisses me off. What is her problem? Kana's always had a foul mouth. That is oh, true. Please, it's not just her mouth that's foul. It's her wretched personality that really stinks. Well, she treated me even worse when we performed as kids. Then take my side. Her personality sucked, didn't it? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you. <laughs> now that you mention it, I wanted to kill her. Right? When I met her, I also. <laughs> Rehearsals are about to start. Let's go. Akane and I don't tackle acting in the same way at all. And we also approach our roles very differently. And what we consider a good performance is different too. Her acting says, I'm right and you're wrong. That's how she makes it seem. And that's a lot of pressure. It really ticks me off. I kept hearing that even genius child actors become ordinary people after puberty. And the truth is, I stopped getting jobs after I like the way her eyes look. Now people are calling people. Akane Kurakawa a genius and showering her with praise. If things keep going this way, it'll mean she was right. Hinekawa's in a league of his own. They got the casting all wrong. Being on the same stage as him, your awful acting will stand out. Hey, Kana. I'm really getting into this play thing. This reminded me like a play from uh, you the, same thing. Aqua. the Legend of Heroes video Return game series. Place. Sounds good. I like that visual. That is hard. I refuse to lose. So what's the matter? 
are you feeling nervous? How could I not be? I really meddled in the project, so it will be all my fault if it flops. Of course I'm feeling nervous. This is the kind of thing you never get used to. But you're satisfied with how the script is now, aren't you? Well, yeah, I suppose that's true. But you've confidently put something out there before only to have it rejected, right? That I have. Well, what if I happen to be the only person in the world who finds my creation entertaining? The thought of that? It'll be all right. <laughs> I'm pleased with how the script turned out, too. At the very least, there are two people on this planet who consider your creation a fine work of art. Ah, they worked it out. <laughs> oh, I thought we were on friendly terms now. Don't take it personally. This girl spent her entire youth on manga and she's not very comfortable around men. Just keep trying to engage in conversation with her. The truth is, she's delighted when people do so. <laughs> well, in the end, the success of the show is riding on the actors. But they are a very talented group. So I have complete faith it'll be a good play. Talented, you say? Nacho! Hi! Yuki! And company! <laughs> We're not strangers. <laughs> What's up? Are things going well for you guys? We're doing okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, you two are wearing the same bracelet! You're just a matching accessories! Okay, oh, the girls from the... I wonder why Teen drama. Did entertain her through a risky balancing act like that. Cause even celebrities are just dumb girls when they're in love. Hey, Miyako, the people around us seem important. Well, the seats in back are generally for people who are involved with the play. You have to be sitting here to see the audience's reactions. I like the sound of that. I feel like a big shot now. Don't get smug about it. Oh, it's director Taishi. He's looking as scary as ever. I wonder if Aqua invited him. It's not like him to ask the director to watch him perform. Perhaps this is a good sign. Maybe this shows how excited he really is about the play. Precocious and Akane. I've done my best to teach them what I could. You gotta put on a great performance to achieve new heights in the industry. To get closer to his goal. Level. If he panics on stage, it's curtains for him. And the more he goes for emotional acting, the greater the risk. Still... How long has it been since I saw him get so serious about acting? Well, you'll manage somehow, right? After all, you're a full-fledged actor. I was once considered a genius actor. And now, that's what they call you. I hate to admit it, but it's on my mind. And it pains me to say this. But I've looked forward to this. Acting alongside you again. I will prevail over you. I'll make sure no one ever calls me a former genius actor. Costume design and a makeup artist. Incredible. I've also looked forward to performing with you. Phenomenal job. I've been waiting for this as well. I'll see you out on stage. Bye. 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 <laughs> Whatever it takes, I'll use everything within me to make up for my lacking talent. That's my method of acting. Raw emotion. And now the curtain rises. Leave it all out there on the I know he was like putting it deep down. Uh... Alright, that was... Episode 16 or season 2 episode 4 of Oshinoko the curtain rises. I thought we wasn't gonna get to play till like late in the season But I'm here for it. middle of the season. Let's go um, Akane said she's down to support him support Aqua Be there for him like she was like he was there for her in her dire moment or there is wanting him to Thrive in his acting or just help his go. Who knows if she's being serious about, like, you know, being an accomplice for murder because that was just, it could have just been a hypothetical to her, but, uh, you know, she imitated somebody that he likes after all just to make him like her. So she's a little crazy, but, uh, she down for, she down for my nigga. 
Um, Aqua decided to take acting more seriously. Uh, for what reason, I don't know. All of a sudden. And you know, I, I gotta rewatch the last episode because I feel like I missed something. Uh, like I said, it's been like three weeks since I watched the episode. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so Kane wanna outshine Arima. So both of them been going to Mr. Old Director, who been helping Aqua his acting and stuff, to get them roles to practice more for the play. And what was I gonna say? Oh, they've been doing that in um What's her name? Oh, Ruby came to visit because Ruby ain't making much screen time lately um, this season. Just a tiny bit. So she came to visit Aqua to make sure you're okay because you've been coming home late night with her friend. I forget her friend's name. And uh, she got a little upset just the thought of like him doing a team practice because now I think she think that's just wrong. He's not irresponsible like that. But again, she's thinking about their mom mom got pregnant when she was a teen and she think about what happened there so she's like no way he's doing that but yeah she's super worried about him and uh one of aqua's co-stars is her flirt he played on ruby's friend well he he i think he hit on ruby first before he found the friend like he that's how you know he was going after. He almost got her, Ruby's fr- friends number two. If, uh, what's the name to stop him? And he got, this man got offended. He's like, with your shit acting, how you go criticize me? I'm like, bro, he just thinking about the play. to get complicated, but he felt so offended. Like, how dare you with your trash acting? Tell me not to do this or that. I'm like, bro, you had to go up there. He know he's working on it. And he, it's not like he came at your act and he just told you like, hey, I don't think it's a good idea to do this. Um, try to fraternize with the girls of like uh, these these companies. So that was crazy. And um, Akane and Arima had a shouting match. I found out that Akane like looked up to Arima when she was a kid. And uh, they let their rivalry uh, be known about the acting, but also, it's a double thing, because Arima likes Aqua as well, so she don't want to lose on two fronts, um, and I love the, the, uh, I don't know what you call it, but I love the scene switch when they was facing each other, Arima and what's the name? And then Aqua and Akane, like, they switched to their costume designs for regular people. That was a pretty cool scene. And then uh, the transition was cool. And then Aqua getting into his emotional bad, his raw emotion. We've seen it in season one. Um, But he was like, no, I need to go more for this role because it's really... It really calls for emotional acting, intense emotional acting. So the only way he could do it is like is looking at eye, but he don't like doing that because it brings out his emotions too much and he can't control it. So we go see if you can pull it off. Next episode, let me know your comments below, and I'll catch you in the next time. Next episode will be two episodes. So they like said three weeks behind, so next episode will be two episodes in one. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week for, uh, not the next two episodes, but that will be episode 19. Uh, peace.